Einstein was right. When World Peace Talks founded in Geneva, 1932, 84 years ago, Einstein was devastated. In a rare moment of fury, he stated to a journalist, they, the politicians and statesmen, have cheated us. They have fooled us. Hundreds of millions of people in Europe and America, billions of men and women yet to be born, have been and are being cheated, traded and tricked out of their lives and health and well-being. I've written a little poem explaining how it happens now, today, 84 years later. End of the age of entitlement and how it affects women. Bear with me and I'll explain. A title is only a part of a name. At birth, we do not have a choice. I was born a miss and mum called me choice. Dad gave me Parsons, so for many a year, I was Miss Joyce Parsons without a care. Then following lots of hugs and kisses, I chose to change the Miss to Mrs. For 52 years, I was Mrs. Joyce Stevens, never rich, but we always broke even. And wages, garnished by the Treasury, entitled us to be a happy pair of retirees. Then my Albert died, leaving me at the mercy of the Treasury, and ever since it's been a fight to get from them my legal right. No titles and names don't identify us. Our NHS numbers save all that fuss. With numbers, computers work so much quicker, making government services that much slicker. Now isn't that better than forming a queue or waiting to get an interview? All government business is done online and we're one of a number, not one of a kind. Photo ID was a waste of space and our number is not on the database. Our number was cancelled when he was taken. I claimed it's mine. It claimed you're mistaken. That's when my age of entitlement ended, years before God or I intended, and now I'm a ward of state, I guess, nameless, old and penniless. I appealed to have our number back, but the database cannot be hacked, and on the many times my MP tried, it said the computer had not lied. Now isn't that better for the Treasury? No blame, no claim from the likes of me. Anonymous, I now exist with my number tattooed on my wrist. So when I end up in the mortuary, everyone will know it's me. Now isn't that better than a tag on my toe saying I'm just another John Doe? <laughs> <laughs>